welcome to the interactive world of Poonie Runes, the surprisingly squishy digital pet no one can resist. Buckle up, because this video will have you enjoying your new squishy BFFs faster than you can say Poonie Runes. To make it easy, you can watch the whole video or skip ahead to a specific section. Now, are you ready to enter the Poonie Runes world? Let's go! Poonie Runes are the interactive digital pet that's powered by your touch. But before you can start playing with your new squishy digital BFF, you need to know what's what. In this section, we're going to demonstrate all the components of your Poonie Runes. The main feature of your new Poonie Runes is the squishy button, located inside of the toy. On the front of your Poonie Runes, you'll see a full color LCD screen, where you'll be able to see your finger interacting with your Poonie Runes. And below the LCD screen, there are three buttons. The button on the left is the A selection button. The button in the middle is the B enter button. And the button on the right is the C cancel button. If you flip your Poonie Runes toy over, you'll see a hole at the top of the toy you can use to attach a strap. In the middle of the back is the reset button. And this large door is the battery box lid, held in place by this screw. Your Poonie Runes also has a speaker on the side of the toy. Now let's get some fresh batteries installed in this Poonie Runes so we can start having some super squishy fun! Poonie Runes come with three AAA batteries included, but you'll need to install them. To install batteries on your new Poonie Runes, first ask an adult for help. Then, open the battery door with a Phillips screwdriver. If used batteries are present, remove these batteries from the unit by pulling up on one end of each battery. Do not remove or install batteries using sharp or metal tools. Install new batteries as shown in the polarity diagram inside the battery compartment. Next, replace battery doors securely. You will know when to replace the batteries when you see this screen. Now, to power your Poonie Runes on, press and hold the enter button for about two seconds. Pressing down on the squishy button also turns on your Poonie Runes. To power your Poonie Runes off, press and hold the enter button again for about two seconds. Your Poonie Runes will turn off automatically if you don't play with it for about one minute. Before you really start having fun with your new Poonie Runes, you'll need to input some default settings to ensure you're having the squishiest fun possible. Setting the date and time on your Poonie Runes is easy. Press A selection and the numbers will get bigger. Press B enter to confirm the number. Press C cancel to go back a step. Next, it's time to set the skin tone on your finger. Press A selection to change skin tone. Press B enter to confirm your choice. Yay! Time to play! Poonie Runes features 55 characters that are super squishy and addictive to touch and collect. Nurture, love, play, and care for your characters and watch as they evolve from baby to kid to adult. It's not just interacting with the characters that makes Poonie Runes so much squishy fun. It's customizing your own squishy utopia to be exactly what you want it to be. Now, here's how to play with your Poonie Runes toy. Put your finger into the opening on the side of the device to touch the squishy button. Doing so allows you to control and interact with the digital characters. The squishy button can be pressed forward and backward, left and right, and wiggled around. Give it a long press to jump. Pro tip! Avoid scratching the squishy button with your nails or pulling it too hard. Just squish it gently with your fingertips to avoid damage. When the arrow appears, hold down the squishy button and then let go to jump up. Press and rub back and forth on the squishy button to pet your Poonie Room and make them happy. Pro tip! If your finger is on the squishy button, you may not be able to use the A, B, and C buttons. If this happens, just remove your finger. Make sure you play with your Poonie Runes often. If you leave your Poonie Runes alone without giving them a squish or leave them hungry, they'll start to feel sad and lose energy. If you lose too much energy, your Poonie Runes will melt and some menus won't be available on the care menu. Help them recover by giving them a squish. You'll know your Poonie Runes is happy when you see the music note. After some time, a seed will appear in the room. Jump to collect it. Seeds are used to make food, customize dress-up items, and help your Poonie Runes grow. There are three types of seeds, red, blue, and yellow seeds.
There are loads of fun ways to play with your Puni Rooms in their rooms. Pressing B, Enter on the main screen opens the care menu. Press A, Select to cycle through play modes. Press B, Enter to select a mode. Selecting the food icon allows you to give your Puni Rooms a gummy bear or any food you make in the kitchen. Select the food you want to give your Puni Rooms with the Select button and then press the Enter button. Use the squishy button in the finger hold to push the food towards your pet. The number in the top right of the foods menu shows your current number in possession of that food item. Your Puni Rooms have favorite foods. You will get one of three reactions. Not good has a frustrated symbol. Normal has a music symbol. Like has a heart symbol with jumping. Foods, Foods other than, than the gummy bear can be made, made, made in the kitchen. kitchen. You can give you gummy, can give gummy bears, bears infinitely, infinitely without, buying. without buying them. And some foods Puni Runes just don't like. Selecting the kitchen icon allows you to make your food for your Puni Runes with items purchased from the market. We make Puni Runes food by combining ingredients and Puni seed purchased at the market. Before choosing Puni seed, display hints to combine. Choose the recipe by pressing enter. There will be a mark under the selected recipe. Select the puni seed to combine and press the enter button. You can also choose between two puni seeds of the same color. After selecting two, press the enter button. Press the squishy button to make food. If the combination with puni seed is correct, the food will be completed. If you make a mistake in the combination, you will get a puni bone. Pro tip! The recipes will give you hints on how to make them before you mix them in the kitchen. Pay attention and select the right colors. Selecting the cleaning icon allows you to use your puni rooms to pick up dust that accumulates around the room. Move puni rooms left and right with the squishy button to catch the dust. Dust sticks to puni rooms to clean your room. Put puni rooms covered in dust into the bath to clean them. Selecting the bath icon allows you to wash dust bunnies off your puni rooms. Choose the bath option and press the enter button. Wash your Puni Rooms character with the squishy button. Even if it isn't dusty, you can still use the bath. Selecting the bathroom icon allows you to flush away your Puni Rooms poop. You'll know you have a poop when there's a circle in the bottom right of your screen. Jelly poop! Water will flow down to clean up the poop. The poop grows bigger and bigger if left unattended. Selecting the item icons allows you to dress your Puni Rooms characters in different items or decorate their rooms. To dress your Puni Rooms character, choose the item you want and select Enter. Buy the item you want to wear from the market. If you select an item that has already been purchased, you will be taken to another screen to change its color. You can add two color Puni Seeds to your items. You can also use two of the same color. Need the squishy button to change the color of the item. The original combination will change the finished color of the item. If you choose to cancel, you remove the item and return to your room. The more games you play in the theme park, the more money you will have to purchase food, accessories, or new rooms. Select the room you want to change from the rooms you bought at the market. Press the OK button to change the room. There are various secret commands you can use to customize your Puni Rooms rooms. Use these commands with the right and left buttons while your finger is on the squishy button. TV room. Press R R L L R L R L and see the TV play. Rainbow room. Press L L R R L R L R and see a friend in the window. Moon room. Press R L R L R R L L and change the color of the moon and see friends in the window. Blue shell couch room. Press L R L R L L R R and grow a pearl on the clam and see friends in the window. Selecting the bookshelf icon allows you to check on the pony rooms you've unlocked and evolved and the gifts they've given you. The bookshelf has two options, Puni Runes and Souvenirs. Select either one, then press the Enter button. If you select Puni Runes, you can check the Puni Runes that you have grown so far. Select the one you want to check and press the Enter button to see details and change the color. If you select Souvenirs, you can check the souvenirs that your Puni Runes have given you and click the Enter button. 
Selecting the going out icon allows you to go to the theme park or the market. It also can take you to the mystical lake. Selecting the theme park icon allows you to play games and win coins you can use to customize your puny runes. Selecting the market icon allows you to go to the market to spend coins on food, accessories, and decor. There are six games that all characters can play. Mochi Pounding Game. Use the squishy button to match the timing of your Puni Rune's hits. Make that mochi and careful not to get your hands caught. Squish Crane Game. Use the squishy button and the middle B Enter button to control the crane and collect gummies by getting them to stick to your Puni Rune. If they get stuck in the wrong spot, the gummies might fall off. Squish Panic Game. When the Puni Rune's characters come out of the pot, press the squishy button. You will be stunned if you touch the thorns, so watch out! Squish and jump game! Use the squishy button to jump and aim for the goal at the top. Be careful to not hit any crabs or press the squishy button the wrong way. Squish dance game! Flow along with the music and when the notes enter the circle, press the squishy button. For the long note, continue holding the button down. Bubble up game! Use the squishy button to make a bubble, catch more bubbles, and avoid coral and other fish. Push forward to sink and backwards to float. If you clear each mini game, you will get coins that can be used in the market for things like recipes, accessories, and rooms. Just look for the market icon. To buy food and recipes, select what you want to buy and press the enter button. You will see your Puni Rooms coin total followed by the price of the item. Select the recipe you want and press the enter button for the detail screen to appear. To buy items, select the item you want to buy and press the OK button, and complete the purchase. To buy rooms, select a room and press the Enter button. Select the first option to complete the purchase. For items and rooms, a XXX mark will be displayed for things you have bought before. Mystical Lake The Mystical Lake is a special place where you can use hack codes to unlock exclusive feature items to use with your Puni Rooms. Enter the passwords to get items. All passwords are valid and you can use all of them if you like. Check friendship. Here, you can check the condition of the puni rooms you are raising. At the top, you will find their friendliness and hunger levels. Lastly, you will see your puni rooms coin total to use in the market. Pro tip! Puni rooms sleep between 8pm and 5.59am, but you can still use the bookcase and friendship. Puni rooms have three stages of growth, baby, kid, and adult. Play with your baby puni rooms to evolve them into a kid. Play with your kid puni rooms to evolve them into an adult. You say goodbye to your puni rooms in the forest. When it's time to evolve one of your puni rooms characters, the squish and mix symbol will appear on the screen. When you see the squish and mix symbol, press enter. Combine puni seeds and magic squishies to grow new characters. Then, knead the seeds with the squishy button to grow your baby. The type and color of your Puni Runes character will depend on the seed you choose. You can get a magic squishy when your baby evolves into a kid. They come in different shapes and won't disappear after you use them. To evolve your kid into an adult, combine a magic squishy with a seed. There are 25 characters in more than 60 variations. The more you play, the more chance it becomes a rare character. Puni Runes Forest. The Puni Runes Forest is a place for adult Puni Runes to say farewell to make room for you to raise a new Puni Runes character. When you say farewell to your adult Puni Runes character, you will receive a souvenir. Check it out in the bookcase. You can change various settings like date, time, volume, and screen brightness on your Puni Runes toy. Scroll through the icons by pressing the select button. Then press enter to select the highlighted icon. Time! Here you can change the date and time you inputted in the default settings. Skin tone! Here you can change the skin tone of your finger. Volume! Here you can choose from four different volume settings. Brightness! Here you can choose from three different screen brightness settings. Reset all. 
Here, you can delete all your data and reset your Kunirin's toy to its factory settings. To reset all, press C, cancel three times while holding down A, select. Pro tip, once you delete your data using the reset all option, you can't get it back. Be sure to only use this option when you really need to. If your Kunirun's toy does not turn on, it might not be getting power, even if the battery replacement screen doesn't appear. If this happens, try replacing the batteries. If nothing appears on the screen of your Kunirun's toy or the screen is frozen or malfunctioning, hold down B, enter for at least three seconds, turning the power off and then on again. If this does not resolve the issue, perform a reset. Do not put alcohol or solvents on the squishy button material to avoid damaging it. If the squishy button is moist, try adding a small amount of baby powder inside the toy to dry it. Also, never leave your Puni Room pod outside in direct sunlight or heat, as this will cause it to not function properly. That's everything you need to know to start having a blast with your new Puni Rooms toy. To learn more about your Puni Rooms or for troubleshooting questions and solutions, visit our website at spinmaster.com slash